Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about the while loop. The while loop is, uh, is something that executes uh, while a certain condition is true. Uh, in, in that it operates very similar to the if statement except instead of just executing once it executes over and over again uh, as long as that condition is true. So let's go ahead and get started with the while loop. Okay, here I've created a very short program and uh, I'm, I'm creating a variable called count and setting that equal to zero and that's the condition that's, that the while loop is going to check. Now we could, uh, it could be some variable that's set by some user input or from some sensor input in a control system or something but uh, in this case we're just going to control it manually. Uh, next, I actually create the while loop, and uh, just like many things in, in C that you should be getting used to, uh, we just use while, and then in parentheses we put the condition. And this works very similar to the if statement. As long as the what is in these parentheses is true, this loop will, will be entered, and, and then it'll come back and it'll check it again. Uh, now, so so here uh, we have set the count equal to zero and it's checking to see if count is less than 10. If count is less than 10 then the while loop will execute. If count, if, if count is more than 10 or is 10 or more uh, the while loop will never execute. It'll just skip over it. So let's just go ahead and run what I have here and it, and it should uh, print out um, uh, the count is and then whatever the value of count is at that time um, and actually there's one more thing that uh, it's very important while you're when you're using while loops you want to make sure that the condition is reset to uh, to eventually uh, evaluate as false unless you want this while loop to continue uh, to continue infinitely there needs to be a path for the, the, that condition to be false so that it will actually exit the loop. And what we're doing here is that each time this while loop executes, we're using the incrementer operator to increase the value by 1. So this loop should execute 10 times and then exit. So you, what we should see on the screen is count is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it'll exit out of the loop because uh, count will then be equal to ten, uh, and uh, and so that's that's not less than ten, and then it'll print out uh, out of while loop. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and build this, and uh, there we go. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and out of while loop. Now let me let me show you one thing. Uh, if we set this count variable to nine, uh, this loop will never execute. Okay, and it's a, a very important distinction between this and the next loop we're going to cover, uh, the do while loop. Uh, so let me go ahead and just build this and run it. And you can see that the line within the loop never executes. It just skips over it and it says out of while loop. Um, there's one more thing I want to show you, and if you saw my video on the uh, for loop, you saw that there's a way to use a for loop to create an infinite loop, and the while loop can also be used to create an infinite loop. And what I have here is I've just placed a one in the parentheses. Uh, so in programming, one is the same as saying something's true, uh, and so as long as uh, so this loop here will execute infinitely and there are some cases where we will want to have an infinite loop in many programs uh, like like control systems for example there will be a main uh, infinite loop that executes over and over and over again it never exits uh, but if you want to create an infinite loop you can do so with a while loop and just place a one in the parentheses and this loop will execute forever so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe and we will talk again soon.